Okay. okay, very good. So today's lesson is number 38. I can't harvest seeds you plant. A man inquired of a friend who would always make a great deal of effort in everything he did, rain or shine. How can you be so diligent? Without hesitation, his friend replied, because I can't harvest seeds you plant. Okay, let's read it again. I can't harvest seeds you plant. A man inquired of a friend who would always make a great deal of effort in everything he did, rain or shine. How can you be so diligent? Without hesitation, his friend replied, because I can't harvest seeds you plant. Very good. Um, yeah, actually, I asked the same question to my Buddhist teacher <laughs> 20 some years ago. Uh, because he was like moving around swiftly, overcoming or accomplishing task after task after task, all to share the Dharma and uh, to even widen the circle of Dharma um, by practicing compassion, always thinking like how we can get this message heard by more and more number of people. So I would accompany him, go to the college campus, talk to the young students. And I was amazed. So I asked him, how can you be so diligent? In that context, yeah, his answer was a little bit different, but I never forget. He told me that a rolling stone gathers no moss. And I was so moved. You know, those days in my 20s, I struggled with some kind of depression. So I had this strong inertia holding me back, and it was difficult to uh, move around as swiftly as he did, as gracefully as he did. Maybe because I was kind of aimless, <laughs> like a lot of people in their 20s. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. So, uh, yeah, his answer resonated with me so much when the stone is always rolling and rolling, there is literally no chance for moss um, to gather around it. If we consider moss something that is um, maybe covering the beauty of the stone or something like, like a hindrance. Um, actually, someone told me, well, moss is beautiful. Yeah. Uh, in literally the proverb in Japanese, it's more like water that is constantly flowing, it will never rot or decay or smell bad because it's not stagnant. Um, maybe that might make more sense. So, um, yeah, so in this context, today's lesson is a little bit different uh, because I cannot harvest seeds you plant or seeds other people plant. The more we learn the Dharma, the more we can understand how true the law of cause, condition, and effect is. We begin to see everything is working based on this law of cause, condition, and effect, which is when the cause and condition unite, the effect will inevitably occur, and no one can stop that outcome from happening once the cause and condition unite. So listening to the Dharma helps us um, gain assurance of this universal law of cause and effect. And then we realize it's always my causes produce my effects. Other people's causes cannot produce my effects. So if people are diligent, they make a lot of effort and they create their happiness. Um, I cannot directly benefit from the happiness they create in their mind. It's theirs and theirs alone. So if I want to enjoy that kind of a headspace, have more serenity in my life, have fulfillment in the heart that makes me uh, focus on gratitude and giving back, be diligent and swiftly move around and improve, which improves our health. 
the more swiftly we move around here and there, there's no time for the bad stuff to build up in our body. So it, it improves our health too. Uh, so in this way, we can focus on what can I do to improve my life and find more joy in my own heart, which in turn, I can share more happiness with people around me. Uh, yes, yeah, so indirectly, of course, there is a connection because we can all become a good condition in other people's lives, just like so many good conditions, good people have come to our lives. And finally, we were able to hear the Dharma and see the law of cause and effect. So we want to just um, pass it on and uh, pay it forward the same way. Uh, yeah, so naturally, we become uh, more active in practicing the six parameters. One of them is this uh, parameter of diligence. Um, good things come <laughs> to a ready mind. You know, they say luck follows a person whose mind is ready. So once we are diligent and put in all the effort, we feel lucky actually in life because we invite more and more joyfulness into our lives. So good job everyone for being here, practicing together. Today we will have the Happiness Lab, 10 a.m. Pacific time and have a wonderful start of your weekend. Bye.